welcome everybody. I am so happy that you're here. Apple has just launched the first beta of their new battery health feature that allow you more control and you can see the health of your battery and being able to turn off their peak optimization features. This new feature is first available in iOS 11.3 and premiered in beta 2. It applies to the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 6S Plus, 6S, iPhone SE, iPhone 7, and the iPhone 7 Plus. Chances are, if you've got an iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, your battery is going to be perfectly fine. It's brand new. Now, a little bit of background behind this for anyone who just was not aware of everything that was going on, but basically, Apple introduced a feature not too long ago that would lower the peak performance of your phone. So, namely, when you're doing something intensive, like playing a graphic heavy game or editing a video. Anytime you did something like that, it could take a big peak shock on your battery. And if your battery had degraded to a point where it was no longer functioning as well as it should, it could just shut down your phone. And people didn't want that. So Apple introduced a feature that it would basically lower the performance of your phone, reducing that peak hit on your battery and prevent the shutdown on your phone. Now, people also didn't like that their phone was essentially being throttled without them being told or having the ability to disable that feature. Some people preferred that their phones would shut down on occasion. So that is where this new battery health beta comes into play. Now inside of the battery section in your settings application, you'll have this new battery health beta when you're on either the iOS 11.3 beta or iOS 11.3 when it launches. You can see your maximum capacity of your battery compared to what it was when it was new. So my phone is relatively new, so the battery is at 100%. And your peak performance capacity down here, which just lets you know how your phone is performing. Now this feature will automatically be disabled by default, but once your phone happens to shut off unexpectedly, the throttling optimization will be turned on. So it'll automatically turn on for you once your phone shuts down without you actually wanting it to. And then you do have the ability to come in here and disable that. So if you don't want it to throttle your phone, if you don't want it to try to protect you against those shutdowns, you can disable this feature. There's a tiny little disable button there. It's super small, but you do have the ability to disable it. And once your battery gets super bad, there is another new one that shows up that you can see here on the screen that just lets you know that you should probably replace your battery, head to an Apple authorized service provider. They can swap out that battery. You'll get full performance and capacity back after you do that. Apple highlights areas that are affected and not affected by this performance management feature. So things that aren't affected are going to be things like call quality and photo and video capture, GPS performance, location accuracy, and your sensors and Apple Pay. Things that do get affected, longer app times, lower frame rates, backlight dimming, lower speaker volume, gradual frame rate reductions, and in the most extreme cases, the flash could be disabled. Personally, I'd rather have some of those things hit me than my phone continuously be shutting down. But with iOS 11.3, looks like you're going to have that option to choose which one you prefer. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Check out all of our other videos on Apple's latest updates. Until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.